Ganahl has declined to answer in-depth questions here, so politics guy Marshall Zellinger caught up with her at a campaign event. After 260 passed, what I realized after doing a lot of research that a lot of those funds, new taxes to the people of Colorado, are being put into different buckets of money that don't fix the roads. I don't believe the people of Colorado understand that. But what I'm more concerned about is the EPA 179B determination letter that Jared Polis has not submitted that will raise our the cost of gas 51 cents a gallon because we'll be required to use blended fuel. That is not okay. Right now, people are suffering in Colorado. They need to be able to afford gas and raising the gas, the cost of gas by 51 cents a gallon because Jared Polis didn't want to submit the science to the EPA is tragic. So my intention is to put more money back into the pockets of the people of Colorado. One of the ways we can do that is take us to zero income tax. We can do it at about 1% a year over my first term, a little bit more than that if you average it out. We've got to tighten our belt. We've got to reduce the size of government. Jared Polis has added almost 4,000 full-time employees equivalents into the government. He's grown the size of government by over 20%. That's one way we can reduce the cost. The other way is to attract new business. The five top performing economies in states across the United States are zero income tax states. It is absolutely beneficial to the state of Colorado to do so. We also need to affect fraud and waste. There's plenty of that to go around and some of the pull is pork that he's added in as governor. Finally, special interests and favors. That's something we've got to address as well as he um, talked about with Disney. Something like that is not okay for the people of Colorado and for the small business owners who are really hurting right now. And when I asked, how do you cut half and still fund all of that? She brought up the law that created that gas fee that will come into effect after the election and the fee for delivery and ride shares. And I asked if you're gonna keep those delivery and ride share fees because she doesn't think people know where that money really goes. And we've reported here, it doesn't all go to roads. Yeah. I asked her, are you gonna keep that money for roads? She said, we'll see as we move forward.